I don't know what's specifically in the Mueller report and neither do you. It ought to tell us a lot that, despite what he says is in it, William Barr is fighting like hell to keep us from finding out what's actually in it. But there are many things we already know about Donald Trump even without access to the Mueller report, things that we already knew just by listening to him speak and reading his tweets. And if his simpering, flag-waving, cretinous acolytes call Trump's utterances fake news then they're calling their president a purveyor of fake news, so they had best be very careful. I don't know about you, but I have to remember all the way back to high school to recall a person who routinely resorts to name-calling, particularly names such as Pencil Neck. We called them bullies then. Still do. You know the type, the kind of guy who likes to kick the vulnerable and the voiceless, particularly when they're down. The kind of guy perpetually surrounded by, if you can't beat him join him types, who see in their master's charmless casual cruelty a pale reflection of themselves. Dot the bullies back then even looked like Trump. They even had idiotic haircuts like Trump. Like Trump, they had no actual wit or subtlety. Theirs was a humor that was crass and illiterate, cruel, and mocking, full of phony conceit and fake bravado. They laughed at learning and mocked science because they were afraid of them both. They were afraid of a lot of things. Still, the only time they would openly gush or fern or grin was when they happened upon a bully more powerful than they. Trump recalls for me exactly that kind of bully when he's in the presence of Vladimir Putin or Kim Jong-un. When he's with such men Trump is transformed into a sniveling wretch, a willing, ass-kissing like spittle, a human puddle, an abject, servile peon, a nothing. The kind of man of whom Kurt Vonnegut once said, I could carve a better man out of a banana, while referencing the old Teddy Roosevelt quote, I could carve out of a banana a judge with more backbone than that. It's one of the great ironies of our very ironic recent history that Theodore Roosevelt, America's second greatest Republican president, who espoused the power of the bully pulpit, would have loathed a bully like Donald Trump.